You may have noticed your allergies are worse this year and because we're tracking high pollen counts in central New York due to an earlier than normal pollen season, thanks to our record warm May and record setting meteorological spring. We did have very high counts of tree pollen, but now grass is the main concern. Weeds and mold are still low, but the weather can also play an impact in how your allergies are on a day to day basis. When we get periods of rain that actually helps to clean the air, trapping those pollen molecules and bringing relief to your allergies. The same is true for dry periods. When it's dry for long enough, the plants start to die off and don't produce as much pollen. Wind can worsen your allergies, blowing any lingering pollen on the ground up into the air and of course into your airways. Warm temperatures help the plants to grow and as a result, they produce more pollen from that as well. Right now, we're exiting the tree pollen season, which peaked in late April, and we're entering the grass pollen season, which peaks in late May, but it is pretty short. However, as soon as the grass season is over, ragweed starts to move in, and it, that peaks in early August. So we still have a few months left of allergy season, and here's some ways to combat allergies naturally without using any medicine. Exercise helps because that helps to expand your lungs in the long term and prevents you from having any trouble breathing due to your allergies. Nasal irrigation using a saline spray can help to clean the, the pollen that's stuck in your airways. Vitamin C and honey can help to boost your immune system and combat any symptoms from allergies. And I hope you use any of those tips to help you combat allergies this season. Reporting on the Weather Deck, I'm meteorologist Violet Skyber.